When it comes to an e-mountain bike, it can be tricky picking the right bike. Should I get a trail e-mountain bike or should I get an enduro bike? So in this video, we're out here in the awesome Alpine trails out here in Bright, and we're gonna let you know which bike is best for each kind of rider. So the bikes we have out here is a brand new Polygon Siskiyou TE, so that's our trail bike. And then we've got the Colossus N8E, which is our enduro bike. If you do want a little bit more information about each of these bikes individually, I'll leave a link to the videos in the description and you can check those bikes out. So what's the difference between these bikes? So starting off with the Siskiyou T, as I said, our trail bike, you've got 140 millimeters of rear travel and you've got a decently slack around 65 degree head angle. And this one has a 485 millimeter reach on the size large. And then our Enduro bike, we've got 160 millimeters of rear travel, so 20 extra there. And then we've got around about a 64 degree head angle and a slightly longer reach, so 490, so an extra five millimeters there. So those are the key differences between the bike, but how do they feel on the trail? So the first thing I noticed on the trail bike, it's just a little bit more playful. And I think for the vast majority of these trails, this bike's more than enough because when it comes to the added weight of the suspension and the battery, the suspension performance on e-bikes is just that much better than a normal bike. So you can actually get away with a little bit less travel. So with modern geometry, so there's slacker head angles, longer reach, and that added weight, you're gonna really notice that this bike's nice, stable, and planted, but it's still poppy and playful thanks to that shorter rear travel. So a great do-it-all bike, you just wanna have some fun on the trail and hit a bit of everything, awesome option there. So moving on to the enduro bike now, and this is for someone who's just gonna hit those descents a little bit harder. On the trails out here in Bright, this bike was better for that extra 10% of trails where you're really pushing the bike hard. So the World Cup downhill, the bigger jumps and stuff like that. The Colossus N8E really shined there. Just that extra rear travel and slightly slacker head angle, the bike was just a little bit more stable and it just handled the fast rough sections with a little bit more ease. So those are the main differences I noticed on the bike. So I'm gonna pass it over to the Polygon factory team and they're gonna let you know what they felt on the bike as well. Hey guys, it's Matt Stoddard here and we've got Dan Wolf. We're from the Polygon factory racing team. So obviously, NAE, like bigger, burlier enduro bike. When the going gets rough, like I'd definitely say this one's a bit better, a bit more planted in the trail. Places like here in Australia or back at home in the UK, I'd definitely pick the, the T70. Um, like super playful bike and more than capable of, than what you actually think. Like I was really surprised how that the trail bike actually rode. So yeah, I think really it does come down to where you live and what type of riding you're doing. So in recap, trail bike, just great for a bit of everything. Most of the trails out here, except for the really hard stuff, they actually, the factory team preferred this bike. But again, if you're looking to do the gnarly stuff, I think this is gonna be the option for you. So if you have any questions about either of the bikes, don't forget to check out those videos as well. And also leave a comment too, and one of our gearheads will answer it for you. But as always, thanks for watching. See ya. What's with the big beer? Why are we not eating these? What? Coming up on the inside! Oh my god!